guys, it's me, Miss Simpson, and today we're going to read the book, The Three Cabritos. So, as we all know, cabritos are goats, and this is a very cute tale, and if you know the story of the three billy goats gruff, it has a lot of similarities, so I hope you enjoy it, and if you really enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to take the AR test. The Three Cabritos by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. Once upon a time, three cabritos lived with their mother on a ranch near the Rio Grande. The three cabritos loved to play music. They had their own band. Reynaldo, the smallest and youngest, played the fiddle. Orlando, the middle one, played the guitar. Agustin, the oldest and biggest, played the accordion. One day, the three cabritos heard that there was going to be a fiesta just across the border in Mexico. Let's go, the three cabritos said. There will be singing and dancing and plenty to eat. We'll take our instruments and play all night. We always have a good time when we go to Mexico. Don't go, their mother pleaded. To get there, you have to cross a bridge over the Rio Grande. You know who lives under that bridge? The Chupacabra, the goat sucker. If he catches you, you will look like a dead cactus when he is done. Don't worry, Mama, said the three little cabritos. We are not afraid of the Chupacabra. Well, I am their mother said. Be careful and have a good time at the fiesta, but I won't rest until you come home. The three cabritos set out for Mexico. Reynaldo walked the fastest. He arrived at the bridge first. As he crossed, something jumped out from underneath the bridge. Chupacabra! Buenos dias, cabrito, Chupacabra said. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Don't eat me, Reynaldo pleaded. I'm so small and thin. My older brother Orlando will be coming along soon. He's much bigger. He'll make a better meal. Let me go, Senor Chupacabra, please. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. Chupacabra said. What's that you're carrying under your arm? My fetal? Play something for me. If I like it, I'll let you go and eat your brother instead. Gracias, Senor Chupacabra, said Ronaldo. He tuned his fiddle and began to play. Chupacabra danced back and forth across the bridge until he grew tired. That's enough. You can go. Reynaldo took his fiddle and ran across the bridge as fast as he could. He didn't stop until he was well into Mexico. Orlando came along next. As he was crossing the bridge, Chupacabra leaped out in front of him. Buenos dias, cabrito. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Don't do that, Senor Chupacabra, Orlando begged. I'm so skinny and weak. My older brother, Agustin, is coming along soon. He is big and strong. He'll make a much better meal. Let me go, please. Maybe I will and maybe I won't, Chupacabra said. What's that on your back? My guitar. Play something for me, Chupacabra said. If I like it, I will let you go. I'll eat your brother instead. Gracias, Senor Chupacabra. Orlando tuned his guitar. He began to play. Chupacabra hopped and twirled across the bridge until he grew tired. That's enough. You can go, he told Orlando. Orlando grabbed his guitar and ran across the bridge as fast as he could. He didn't stop until he was miles into Mexico. Agustin, the last of the three cabritos, arrived at the bridge. Chupacabra jumped up before him. Buenos dias, cabrito, Chupacabra said. Say your prayers. I'm going to eat you. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't, said Agustin. 
I'm a lot bigger and stronger than my brothers. You're not bigger or stronger than me, Chupacabra sneered. You're right, Agustin said. You're going to eat me no matter what I do. May I ask a favor? Let me play my accordion one last time. Then I will lie down on the bridge and you can gobble me up. Go ahead, Cabrito, said Chupacabra. Play your accordion and when you're done, I'll eat you. Agustin began to play and Chupacabra danced and leaped and hopped and twirled and pranced and twisted from one end of the bridge to the other. At last he cried, You can stop now, Cabrito, I'm getting tired. I'm not tired at all, said Agustin. I forgot to tell you, I have a magic accordion. When I play it, everyone has to keep dancing until I stop. Enough, Cabrito. I can't dance anymore. Not yet. I don't want to stop. I'm having a good time. Agustin began playing faster and faster. Chupacabra whirled around and around and his face turned red. His eyes bulged. Smoke came out of his ears. No more, Cabrito. I beg you. It will be the end of me if you don't stop. Is that so, said Agustin, then I will keep playing. And he did, faster than ever before. Chupacabra gasped and groaned. With a sudden shriek, he fell down on the bridge. Chupacabra shriveled like a punctured balloon. He grew smaller and smaller until only his husk remained. As dry and brittle as a dead cactus, Agustin crushed it beneath his hooves as he crossed over to Mexico. The three cabritos played all night at the fiesta. When they went home in the morning, they crossed the bridge together. No one had to worry about Chupacabra anymore, so they say. But as for me, whenever I cross over that bridge into Mexico, I make sure to carry my harmonica in my pocket, just in case. I hope you enjoyed the story.